Right, morning guys, how are we? So, I am going to get my hair cut finally. It's Saturday morning, nine o'clock. The lads are uh, going back to that job that was on yesterday. So, that gas leak, gas board have been out, put a new meter into this little potential little drop. So, looks gonna pop up there this morning with Matt. I'm hoping it's gonna be good news. Can I left the boiler isolated yesterday, so it means we're testing pipe work only. So, I'll be honest, I will be gutted if that's still dropping because. Uh, well, as you guys know, you can't have a leak on pipe work, it's going to have to be altered, so yeah, we'll see what happens with that one, but I'm going to go finally get the barnet cut and I cannot wait. Right, we're waiting. It is 20 to 9. I said I'd be here at quarter to, so I'm five minutes early. I'd rather be early than late. But his van's not even here yet. We are waiting for Matty. We've been called out this morning to the gas leak that Nath was at yesterday. So we are going to go down and see what the hell's going on there. Apparently Northern Gas have been down, changed the meter, and there's still a drop. It's not as bad apparently, but it looks like they've been unlucky. And I had a gas leak in two different locations, which is impossible to tell when you've got a gas meter that's leaking. You need to get Northern Gas out first. So we're going to go down there and try and figure out whether it's on the boiler itself or whether it is on the pipework itself um, if it's on the pipework that is buried under the ground and that's going to have to get fully rerun but we'll deal with that when we get there but at the moment I'm sat waiting for the man, the myth, the legend the plus 10 haircut, Matty himself so we'll um, see how long it takes him to get down here What are we doing Matt? No. Nope. Little bacon sandwiches, mate. <laughs> We're not going straight to work, are we? Nope. Matt has just rocked up. Chef Owen is in the house. Okay. <laughs> I'm instantly going to regret Matty cooking. Where's the fat? Nah, you don't want the fat this shit, mate. You don't get a gut, gut like mine without the fat, do you? Look at them, mate. That's what you want. Just four bits like that. Perfect. You haven't even let the oil warm up. What's going on in the world? What? It's not oil, it's fucking... Same thing. Fry lighting it's oh, For God's sake. Let's carry it. You know I'm going on Thursday. You what? You know I'm going on Thursday. Oh yeah, Mr. Abifa. Mm. Right, so we're going to get this cooked. God help us. That's how Matt is going to work. Yeah. Just rocking up like that, aren't you? Yeah, I've got to change my mate. Do you want a fucking fresh orange juice, mate? Yeah, you can do, mate. I've already been to Starbucks, but you know. So, have that and then out to the job. What are we going? What's that say? Hang on, I can't see it. No one cares. Shit. It's year, 21.2. Yeah, it's not happening this year though, is it? Probably not happening again, mate. No. Too, many, too many AGM meetings for that these days, aren't you? You know Too many AGM meetings. Yeah. Probably a club when he said this year. Because <laughs> he rocked up to two meetings. I'm referee. That's fixed though, ain't it? What? I, I saw you getting paid off last night for them games. Well, if the price is right, mate. <laughs> the price could be anything with you. You should have put seen you can do it. I'm sure I can do it. <laughs> well, watch that bit tonight. Sound. Right, so it's Saturday. I'm back with the main man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the meat has all been changed. Problem's still there, though. So we're going to just see what we've actually got over two minutes. So, just ping that now. So there was a leak somewhere here, but they're still detecting a leak on the system. So that's going down there, and then the house is right up. It's up there somewhere. Can't show that. Right, so we're back. Meat has been changed. Back with the main man. Up. Saturday morning. Cooked a lovely sarnie this morning, aren't you? Yeah. The reason why I'm here today, guys, is because uh, I've got a bit more understanding about this job, really. I was at here with Nave. I know what the crack is. I knew where the meter was, because it's obviously in a bit of a weird place. I know what the crack is inside. I know what me and Nave are testing. So I'm just here to assist Luke and report my findings back to him today. And as you can see, he's literally in exactly the same space as he was yesterday. He, yeah. he might as well have just stayed here. I've, I've got my knee prints in here. It's comfy. But... That's been changed. There was a small leak on the old anaconda that was going there, but anaconda don't copyrights. There's still a little leak going on there, so it don't look as bad, but it's still going to be what four millibar. Is that not leaveable? 
No, we're not leaving that. I know it's Saturday morning, Matt, but we can't leave that. So we're gonna go up to the house, find out, see if we can find where that comes into the property and get the sniffer out and see if we can see anything going on. But it's not looking good. The house is right up there. You can't see it because of the sun, but it's what, 50 meter? Uh, it's 75 to the boiler. You say that as if you've measured it out. Uh, no, you aren't. I've actually pierced it out. You've, it's 75 paces to the boiler? Yeah. I don't believe you. Well, it's, it's about 50 to the house. It's about 50 to the... Oh, yeah, right, it's a distance. Yeah. It's a distance. It was 50 to this van, and then it was another, <laughs> another 25. Right, okay. But yeah, we'll go see if what we can find with this. So we'll keep you up to date soon. Right then, Matt, tell me what you found. So basically, guys, I, I'm not a gas engineer. I've never done gas. I've only done it with Luke and Nathan. Talk by the best, though. What I've done is I've just used my head a bit here instead of just trying to... Like, well, well hang on, no, hang on. Luke's been crawling around the house and that, mate. No, so, I, oh, no, hang on, let, let's get one thing straight. I've traced the gas pipe from the boiler through every single void up in that loft space and found it where it comes down. And we've checked every void and there's no sniff. And then what did you come and do? That's something... It. Hang on, you did something you should have probably done yesterday. I've just, I've, I've just used my head today and I thought, why have we not tested that iron fit in there? So, he's been over here and he sniffed that and it started to go berserk, so we're going to try and dig down a bit further try and find where this iron goes it's going to go to some elbow and it's going to shoot up towards the house up there so it's just reset that bring it over then Matt this is normal so that's the reason as it is now over in fresh air and then that was going that was going berserk a minute ago there, there so we're getting some kind of reading from around here. So I think we'll get some leak spray on that in a minute. Let's see if we can pick anything up. I need some more, I need to go get the new one up the van. But... We'll go get the new leak spray out the van and we'll spray that up and see what we can find. Hang on. Oh mate, I didn't record any of that. Mm. So we've just filmed all that and I forgot to press record. Joking. What a joke. Um, I, 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 that is wet down here now. <laughs> right, so we're digging down. We think we've got a reading down here. So Matt, he's gone into time team mode again. He ain't got his paintbrush today because that's already nice and clean. So just a case of... Don't you go through that gas pipe that chisel? I'm just going to create ourselves a leak <laughs> We found it. <laughs> yeah. I've made it, but we found it. You had a 5 mm bar drop, and we've now made a 12 mm bar drop. So we're just going to try and break this up and get down to wherever this elbow is. This is our Saturday morning. Life's amazing, isn't it, Matt? Well, do you know what's real good about this? I've got an haircut to have got, so I'm, I'm leaving regardless. Mate, you're in my van. How are you getting on? I'm down to <laughs> You haven't paid the board? Yeah, I know. He's definitely not coming to pick you up when you haven't paid board. He He's not. He right. Right, I need to give him an hand here. We'll catch you in a minute. Well, don't throw it back in the hole then. Yeah, I'm throwing it away. Just throw it, just look, that's a lovely pit to catch all that dirt in. Nerfle, love you, just chuck it back in there. Might have to get the over out, there's a bit of dirt in there. You're going to have to... I might have to get a wet wipe or something, just give it a little buff up. You'll like that shiny pipe though, won't you? Right, let's crack on. Right, we're down. Didn't take as long as we thought, to be fair. Zoom out. Might as well just fall as usual. Right. So that is down at the elbow there, and the elbow's going that way. So it goes that way. So I'm guessing it's going that way to the drive and then back up there. But let's see if we get any reading from this down here now. It's picking somewhat up down there, isn't it? Hard to say. It's definitely picking some up on this iron. Right. How 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 many more of them are like on down the drive? You know what I mean? Oh no, there's going to be there's going to be at least what five or six fittings going down this drive at a minimum. That's definitely picking some up on the iron. So I think we will either try and expose it where it comes up into the house, cap it off, and test it. If we can't do that, 
to prove it then I think no matter what this iron's gonna have to be relayed which is a job and a half because we're gonna have to go all the way up the drive back up to the house to the boiler but we're definitely getting some readings from down here so we'll go speak to the customer now and see what they want us to do right we're done for now anyway so I've just capped this gas meter off now um, so we've capped that back off at the outlet there made safe I'll leave the warning notice that the northern gas lad left but we're pretty sure we've got leaks on the iron now um, we've tested that run and we're still dropping so what we think is that is running towards the drive and then it shoots I can't really show you up the drive because of the house but we go up the drive about 30 40 meters probably to the house and then that's where we come up into the house and then we branch off and whatnot we found a few other supplies in the house as well we found a couple of gas fires but they're all capped off we've tested um, sniffed them as well and they're not they're not picking anything up so I'm pretty sure we're on this pipe here so we've just had a good chat with the customer and it looks like we're gonna start putting a plan together to renew the full gas line from this meter up to the house we've proposed coming up the edge of the lawn there instead of going up the drive go up the edge of the lawn and then cut across the drive come up externally and wrap it around the outside of the house um, to the where the boiler is because that's the only place that they need gas but for today we've proved that and we are done so I'm gonna have one more chat with the customer now and just run over the final things um, go check the immersions on the tank make sure they're all working Matt is gone now because he's got a haircut um, but yeah it's coming up to about half 11 now been on site for a couple of hours trying to do our best for this customer but unfortunately there's only so much we can do um, so I'm planning we're gonna have to run the pipe all the way up here and we'll probably come up might be able to come up in the garage here but the water mains there I don't know yet we're gonna have to have the the drains cameraed to figure out where they go come up around here and potentially just lap around the house up there to the boiler this is the job that Nathan and Matty were on the other day where we flushed it put the new filter in and stuff like that but this is off for now the house is capped off it's all safe for now um, we'll come up with a plan of action for the customer over the next few days um, and then go from there but that is Saturday call out done hopefully there's no more this weekend but you never know I'm on call the rest of the weekend so if you haven't already make sure you like subscribe follow um, this might go out as a little Saturday video I don't know what Nate's gonna do yet or it might go out on Monday either way we will see you again next week Brandon